Welcome to the final reveal of my first entry for the damage and destruction group build. Here is my Blackhawk, but before I show you more, I want to tell you a bit more about the building process. Well, it all started when I found this Hasegawa Blackhawk on Amazon. It was relatively cheap considering that there are 7 soldiers coming with it. It's in the scale 1 to 72. And before I started building it, I did a few experiments on my Leopard tank. I used the hot needle to create the effect of bullet holes and it worked pretty well. So I also got the Revel weathering powders which are also great. And when I got the Blackhawk I knew that I will do a crash diorama, some kind of Blackhawk down diorama, nothing to do with the movie. I think the movie was pretty bad actually. But I wanted to do my first diorama, so I started assembling the seats and the rotor. The main rotor is actually pretty detailed, but it wasn't that difficult to put it together. And after painting the main rotor and the tail rotor, I took the ground plate and started the cockpit with the decals, which are also pretty detailed. And then I also already started painting the the soldiers and the crew. It is a US Army Black Hawk, but I was pretty creative when it came to the uniforms of those guys. I just used some kind of khaki brown or whatever this was called. And it was very fiddly, these small pieces. As you can see here, the M16 rifles which don't look that bad if you consider how small they are. <laughs> and I also got the NATO Olive for the Black Hawk. I thought about doing a desert camo, but yeah, I forgot about this plan and used the NATO Olive instead. Yeah, I painted the main fuselage and also tried to get some details on the panel lines with a fine pen, but they disappeared after a while, so yeah, but it isn't that bad because there is so much dirt on it that you wouldn't be able to see them anyways. Yeah, and then I also started weathering the ground plate a bit with yeah with some sand, as I just said. And here you can see the weathering set again. I used this on my Leopard tank to create some mud effects. This is how it looks now. Pretty nice, actually. And I also used this on the ground plate to get some... Uh, sand and other dirt on it. Yeah, and simultaneously to the process of building the Black Hawk, my girlfriend tried to create a ground plate out of a wooden board with paper mache. The problem was that this was bending after a few days actually. And yeah, that sucked. <laughs> I guess it was because of the moisture from the paper mache. But still I continued building the cockpit, used the weathering powders as I said. And the seats in the back, I created my own seat belts because there was no detail to the seats. So I used the masking tape, painted it black and silver and created some seat belts to get a bit more detail in the back. Yeah, and to get even more detail, I got this fiber here and painted it in silver to create some kind of uh, steel rope or something like that. And also put it in the back. Yeah, mounted all the seats and the pilots and co-pilot. Then I assembled the engines. Yeah, and because the whole wooden board with paper mache technique wasn't working at all, I went to the hobby shop and got this wooden frame and some plaster. And this worked perfectly fine. As you can see, we also were able to create some kind of uh, texture, some kind of hills and stuff like that. So it's not just flat. And when the plaster was dry, we used some sand on it to create the effect of a desert, which also worked great. And later on, we also glued some bushes to it. These are actually made for decoration purposes. I don't know anybody who would use this as a decoration. But anyways, I used it here to create some bushes. Yeah, and the work on the Blackhawk also continued. I finished the soldiers. Some of those guys are even wounded. So I also had to create some kind of uh, medipacks 
that you can see on one of the seats and one is in the desert. The pilot of the, I think it's the pilot on the right side is also wounded in the shoulder. I did not want to use too much blood here. I used acrylics and it was a mistake. I cut my finger and used my own blood to paint some of the soldiers. Sounds weird, but as you can see here, it looks very realistic. Yeah, of course it's real blood, so it has to be realistic. Here on the side you can see the machine gunner. Without his machine gun I glued it in there later. And I also tried out the weathering techniques. And then I applied the decals, which are pretty nice too. Yeah, and then I had a huge problem. I went to the flea market and I was very lucky to find this Italeri Blackhawk. I told you about that in the last update. Yeah, I found this Italeri Blackhawk for one euro, which is basically nothing. The only problem was, yeah, it was the same scale and I thought about doing a mad evac helicopter hovering above the crashed Blackhawk, but this didn't work out because this Italeri Blackhawk was missing the whole cockpit, the decals and a few other pieces. So I just used some parts of this Blackhawk and yeah, I glued them to my Hasegawa Blackhawk to get more details. For example, these covers for the, for the engines and a few other pieces. Oh, and what I nearly forgot to mention was I cut the Blackhawk in half and I used some thin metal pieces to create the effect of some damage and also used some wires. I know that the inside of a Black Hawk doesn't look like that, but I think it still looks pretty cool. Maybe not realistic, but I like how it looks and that's the most important thing. There is also this huge hole on the right side of the helicopter and a lot of bullet holes. And because that engine was hit a few times, I wanted to create some smoke. So I stuck a wire in the engine and used some cotton, which I painted with acrylic paint to create the effect of fire and smoke. And yeah, it doesn't look perfect, but I think it's, it's pretty nice. A nice extra, if you ask me. So yeah, I attached the wheels and other details. As I said, I used some stuff from the Italeri Blackhawk and that was it. Here it is, the finished Blackhawk. Yeah, so here it is, my diorama. Where do we start? Here are the bushes that I told you about and four of the soldiers are outside. Here is the door gunner and here are the pilot and co-pilot. Yeah, the Black Hawk itself is totally, yeah, not, not totally destroyed, but heavily damaged. And the scenario would be that it came under fire and the engine was hit and while it was crash landing the whole tail section came off but it still was able to crash land somehow and most of the guys here are wounded this is the guy that's heavily wounded as you can see he also has this medipack here the second one is in there in the black hawk on the seat tail gunner yeah, and you can see the bullet holes here and there, the scratched surface, broken glass. The rotor is heavily damaged, of course, after such an impact. This piece also nearly came off and it's just uh, tangling here. And here is another guy and this is the team leader, I would say. Giving some orders, but since the guys are all shocked from the impact, they don't really follow his orders. A lot of shrapnel all over the place. I also used some metal parts. As you can see here, shrapnel stuck to the helicopter. And here on the uh, rudder, the tail rotor heavily damaged. This guy is also a bit confused. He doesn't know what happened. Yeah, and I think it turned out pretty well with the plaster base and some sand glued to it, bushes glued to it, and this is some of the weathering powder from Revell, 
Now let's show you around a bit. I'll also show you some photos later, I guess, that will look look better than just this video here. But yeah, this is my Black Hawk Down Crash Diorama. I am very satisfied with the outcome. Here is the engine. A lot of bullet holes in it. That's why it's burning. I'm not a hundred percent satisfied with the smoke, but it's all right. Maybe I'll I'll redo this, but it's okay for now. And as I said, I used this engine covers from the Italeri. The flare dispenser is also from the Italeri Blackhawk, and a couple of other parts are also from the Italeri. Yeah, and here you can see how I cut the Blackhawk apart. As I said, there are wires coming out and some metal plates. That's not realistic. I don't think that there is any metal in a Black Hawk. More composite and I don't know which materials, but I think it looks pretty nice. Yeah, and that was pretty much all there is about this Black Hawk diorama. I hope you liked it. Please leave me your feedback in the comments. I don't know what the future of the group build will look like. I think there are about 50 members now, but there are not many updates from you guys. So I don't know if it will continue. Tell me if you plan to build anything. I won't have a lot of time in the next month, so I don't think that I will build another diorama. I might do this MiG-23, maybe a crash landing or something like that. I might do it, but I'm not sure yet. Yeah, and if you are not part of the group build yet, just check out the link in the description of the video and join us. We are 50 members now and I would be very happy if you guys showed us your work. I know a few guys are planning some dioramas, some pretty cool stuff, but we need more regular updates. And I could imagine if some of you people start building and there will be regular updates, I might just do the job of doing the update videos and forget about my second diorama. Because I'm very busy as I said, so I would do some update videos on your progress and that would be it. But anyways, tell me what you think about the Black Hawk, join the damage and destruction group build post your updates and have a nice day. Thanks for watching and see you in the Facebook group. Bye.